In this video, we're going to learn about using map when to branch a pipeline. Previously, we used the app.map to branch pipeline, and we are branching pipeline conditionally. And the only condition we can use is the path of the request. But sometimes we want to create a branch based on a more complicated, more complex condition. And to do that, we need to get more information from the HTTP context object. So therefore, we need to have a method where we can have access to the HTTP context object in order to come up with a very complicated condition for us to create a new branch. And that method is map when. So I can just show it right here. So map when, and then let's add a bracket here so that you can see the condition here. So we have this condition function delegate, which takes a HTTP context and returns a Boolean. So instead of using employees, we can use the context object here. And then this one has to return a Boolean, so either true or false. So you can see that when I say return true, the rest cookie line here is gone, right? Of course, we have to do something special here. So our condition is based on the context object. And of course, you look at the request object, and then you can use any information in the request object to make a decision, right? For example, you can read the body of the request and make a decision based on that. You can read the path and make a decision based on that. You can use the method. In this video, let's use the query string here, right? So if we have a query string, which is the ID of the employee, then we're going to return true. So basically, we can even just remove this curly braces. And this is not contains, this is contains key. Okay, now you can see that we don't have the right squeeze line anymore. So what this means, so let me format this first of all. Select everything and control KF very well. Format this manually. Okay, so we have two parameters of this map when function. The first one is a function delegate. And it takes one parameter and returns a boolean. So this one returns based on whether the query string contains ID or not. If it contains ID, it's going to return true. Otherwise, it's going to return false. And only when this condition is true, do we go into this branch. Right? So this branching mechanism is based on the condition that is provided from the first function delegate. If this function delegate returns true, it's going to branch out. Otherwise, it's going to stay in the main branch. So we can give it a try right now. Let's run the application. Okay. So the root URL goes to the main branch, which is one, two, three, three, two, one. And if we go to employees like this, it's still falling into one, two, three, three, two, one, because there's no ID provided in the query string. Now, if I provide a query string, then it's going to go into 156651. So this is the separate branch. Of course, here I didn't specify that it has to go to employees. So therefore, even when I provide the ID as a query string on the root path, it's still going to the branch right here. So if you want to combine different conditions, of course, you can modify this delegate here and make it quite complicated because you can even use a curly brace as I showed originally, right? If you use a curly brace right here, then you can write as complicated logic as you want. So here, if we return this, and also our pass needs to start with. So let's say contacts.request.pass. Start with segments, and if we say employees, right, and then we also need to require the query string, the ID to be present. I can finish this with a semicolon here. So both conditions need to be satisfied. Okay, 
So both this condition that the path need to start with this employee's segment, and also the course you need to contain ID. So only when these two conditions are met, do we actually take the context object into a separate branch. So if we run this, then it will be different. We cannot say ID equals one or two or whatever. So this still goes to the main branch, right? So if we want to trigger the separate branch, we have to go to slash employees ID equals whatever, let's say equals 10. Now we're going into the separate branch. So this is what I want to show you in this video where we create a separate branch based on a more complex condition. And that is provided by the map when function instead of the map. Okay, that's all I want to show you in this video. If any questions, please let me know. If not, I will see you in the next one.